everyone, it's Harriet again, um, reporting from Seacroft Hospital. Um, I was admitted this afternoon. Um, Woody came with me to help me get settled in. Pretty scary, to be honest. Pretty overwhelmed. I'm exhausted, actually. I didn't think I'd be this tired, but I can't stop yawning. Um, I'm really sorry if my video gets interrupted. Somebody... Um, I'm on 15 minute observations basically, so I can't seem to get a minute's sort of piece, but I'll do my best. Um, so I came in and had a full, first thing I did was had a full physical examination. So that's um, a blood test, your blood pressure, your ECG uh, for your heart, um, blood test, blood pressure, ECG, um, breathing, checking your lungs are working well, um, height and weight, obviously they do your BMI, and um, you have to have four hourly uh, blood sugar tests. So at 10 in the morning, 2, 6, 10 at night, and 2 a.m. That sucks. Never mind. Um, that's just for the first 72 hours. Um, again, um, for the first 72 hours, the same rules apply to everyone. So that means I have to use a commode, which is lovely. Um, numbered ones and number twos. That's bloody awful. But, you know, I've uh, got to do it um, unfortunately because I've been admitted on a Thursday the 72 hours kind of means that it's gonna this is gonna be happening till Monday not Sunday because it's the weekend go figure never mind um, so yeah we came had the physical exam then had a tour round met a few people met some of the staff all the girls seem really nice that I've met so far um, there was 18 girls and two boys on the ward at the minute um, there's about five or s yeah five of us currently in the stage one program. So stage one means that you're in that if you're if you've only just been admitted you're in stage one for the first two weeks. Typically you're on half portions. Um, the other reason you'd be in stage one is if um, you are extremely underweight um, and you have the um, nasal feeding tube as well. So. Um, Dinner was okay. I um I had to pick my menu when I arrived. Um, I had a choice of beef lasagna, chicken and broccoli bake, or a jacket potato. But it's all half portions for the for the time being, which um kind of annoyed about a bit. But I think a full portion might be a bit too much for me, so it's not so bad. And it was very bizarre because for the first time I was looking at food that I would actually like to eat, rather than looking at the food for its calorie or fat content you know I was looking at it in the sense that you know the lasagna yeah I, I would actually like lasagna but I would never pick that at a restaurant or you know in any other situation so that's kind of nice that I'm able to do that now because at the end of the day I'm I'm, I'm here all the foods can have around the same calorific fat content all that stuff so you know why be picky just have stuff that you enjoy so that's really good um, there's a couple of rules that you have to follow, obviously. Um, I'm not allowed to make any of my own drinks at the minute. Um, if I want a tea or coffee, uh, one of the nursing staff has to make it for me. Um, if I go outside, I have to be escorted. Um, I'm on 15 minute observations, so even through the night, um, they'll shine a little torch into my room, which is quite funny. Um, yeah, so it's been a really... It's been pretty intense, it's been emotional. I've had a cry, as you can imagine. Um, saying goodbye to Woody was really tough. Um, I'm gonna try not to cry again, but uh, bear with me, that's cool. It's gone, the moment's gone. Um, so I will do another video tomorrow um, when there's some group work gonna be happening. Um, so that could be interesting, you know, I'd like to see what that entails. Um, there's two communal ro rooms with like TV and DVDs and games and stuff, so that could that could be fun if I get a bit bored. Um, but everything else is pretty good. Oh, also like showers, you know, for the first seventy two hours again, um, I have to be um, what's the word um, under observation, so you know I can't go in and have a shower on my own. But you know that's uh, they do it all the time, so it's fine. Um, I will check on visiting hours because again I'm not quite sure on that but I'll find out and there's no Wi-Fi in the room either so any internet access has to be done in the communal areas so I will do my best um, I'll do a room tour probably tomorrow 
Um, because I've not really got anything set out just yet. Um, so I'll do that tomorrow. But that's about it for tonight. So feeling okay. Not feeling wonderful, but, you know, doing all right. Um, given the circumstances. So, yeah, I will speak to you tomorrow. Bye.